My brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us beautiful stories in the Quran. And one of the beautiful stories that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the Quran is the story of Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam. لَقَدْ كَانَ فِي قَصَصِهِمْ أَوْ نَحْنُ نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ أَحْسَنَ الْقَصَصِ the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah told him that he mentioned to him the best of his stories. لَقَدْ كَانَ فِي يُوسُفَ وَإِخْوَتِهِ آيَاتِ لِلسَّائِلِينَ That Yusuf and his brothers, what has happened in between them, they are signs to all of us. We need to learn from this. And then we all know what Yusuf's brothers have done to their own brother Yusuf alayhi But what was the reaction of Yusuf? When he had the opportunity to take revenge, what was the best way? What, how did he take revenge from them? Did he put them in prison? He was able to do that. Did he kill all of them? He was able to do that. Did he punish them? He was able to do that. But what is it that he has done? Subhanallah. Qala Yusuf. What has happened when Yusuf has revealed himself? What did he say to his brothers? قَالَ هَلْ عَلِمْتُمْ مَا فَعَلْتُمْ بِيُوسُفَ وَأَخِيهِ إِذْ أَنْتُمْ جَاهِلُونَ قَالُوا أَإِنَّكَ لَأَنْتَ يُوسُفَ قَالَ أَنَا يُوسُفَ وَهَذَا أَخِي And then at the end, what did he say to them? قَالَ لَا تَثْرِيبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الْيَوْمِ يَغْفِرُ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ وَهُوَ أَرْحَمُ الرَّاحِمِينَ But do we have the capacity to forgive like Prophet Yusuf has done? We have many Muslims today. Maybe many of us who are here today, if not all of us, we have grudges against other people. Not only against other people, maybe, maybe some of our family members. Wallah, do not be surprised when you hear a brother has not spoken to his brother for 10 years. Two brothers. Someone might come to the masjid day and night, but he cannot even call his own brother, his older brother or his younger brother. He's upset with him. Some people cannot even speak to their sisters. Some people cannot speak to their aunties. Some people cannot speak to their next of kin. Why? So much hatred in our hearts. We do not have the capacity to forgive. Look at Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The day he has conquered Mecca. The day he has conquered Mecca. And came. What did he say to the people of Mecca? He said to them, what do you expect from me today? What do you think I'm going to do to you today? What did they say? Anta akhun kareem wa ibnu akhin kareem. They said to him, you are a generous brother and the son of a generous brother. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, did he take revenge? No. He forgave them. He forgave all the people. Subhanallah. Even the leaders, those who were, those who were enemies to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to Islam, those who used to plan attacks against the Muslims, those who fought the Prophet, those who killed the companions, those who did so and so and so, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam forgave them. Among those people, Suhail ibn Amr, among those people, Abu Sufyan ibn Harb, among those people, Safwan ibn Umayyah, amongst those people, Ikrimah ibn Abi Jahl, radiyallahu anhum, he forgave them. Look at the companions themselves. If your, soul, if your soul says to you right now, you're not a prophet. Prophet Yusuf, the reason he forgave his brothers because he was a prophet. Prophet Muhammad forgave other people because he was a prophet. I am not a prophet. I'm a just normal human being. How can I forgive? Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, he was not a prophet. Abu Bakr, when he heard the ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, وَلْيَعْفُوا وَلْيَصْفَحُوا أَلَا تُحِبُّونَ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ When Abu Bakr has heard that ayah, وَلْيَعْفُوا وَلْيَصْفَحُوا Forgive and give pardons to other people. أَلَا تُحِبُّونَ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ Do you not love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive you? My brothers, when we forgive people, Allah will forgive us. Because Allah has promised, وَعْدَ اللَّهِ and if Allah promises, and if Allah makes a promise, He will fulfill His promise. Inna Allah la yuhliful mi'ad. Allah has said, وَلْيَعْفُوا وَلْيَصْفَحُوا أَلَا تُحِبُّونَ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ Do you not love that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives you? Ikhwani, we all love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us. Abu Bakr, who has He forgiven? 
He has forgiven the companion whose name is Mistah. And who is Mistah? Mistah, he was related to Abu Bakr. But unfortunately, he took part of the slander against Aisha radiallahu anha, against the honor of Aisha radiallahu anha. When the munafiqoon made up the slander, Mistah, he took part, he didn't know it. But at the end, when Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu found out that Mistah was among the people who was spreading the news, the slander, Abu Bakr has said, Wallahi, I will never give anything to Mistah. And Abu Bakr used to look after Mistah. He used to give him provisions and money. He was the one who used to look after him. He was poor Mistah. But Abu Bakr has said, if he did this, and if he accused my daughter of committing zina when she did not, if he, if he did this and that, I will never give him anything. But when Abu, when Miss Abu Bakr has heard, وَلْيَعْفُوا وَلْيَصْفَحُوا أَلَا تُحِبُّونَ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ When Allah has ordered Abu Bakr and the rest of the Muslims, forgive, forgive, and be ready for reconciliation. What did he say, Abu Bakr? I have forgiven him, and I will give him more than I used to give him before. Subhanallah. Forgiveness is not for the weak people. Forgiveness is an attribute that, ha that has been given to those who have courage. If you want to forgive, you need to be a brave person. Forgiveness can be only given by those who have what? Those who are brave, those who are, who are courageous. As we said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase you in honor when you forgive other people. My brothers and sisters in Islam, I invite you all today. All of you, you know who you don't like. You know who you have something against. All of you, my brothers and sisters in Islam, today I want you to say, I want to forgive everyone. And wallah, the first person who's going to benefit from forgiving other people is you, not, not the other person. When you forgive other people, it is you who will benefit first. It is you who's going to have better health. It is you who's going to have better sleep. It is you that is going to have better, subhanallah, better in everything. You will feel much better, ikhwani. So many people right now, they cannot even sleep at night because they are so stressed out. They are so unhappy with so many people. They cannot even go to bed. They need medicine to sleep. But let me tell you, ikhwani, you have free medicine today. No one is going to charge you for this. It's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Forgive. And when you forgive, wallahi, you're going to have better life. If you don't, come back to me. Come back to me and say to me, Muhammad Ali, what you said to us was wrong. I am prepared for that. Wallahi, when you forgive, you will feel much better. You will feel stronger. You will feel better person. You will be able to have better life. Unfortunately, the way we perform today, we are very, very weak. We never reach our productivity is low. Why? Because we are full of anger. We have so much grudges against other people. But when we free ourselves from the grudges that we have in our hearts, Billah, let me tell you, my brothers, insha'Allah ta'ala, you will feel much better. And let me start with myself, my brothers. And I want to say to you, Ikhwani, Wallahi, every one of you who's sitting here, and everyone who's watching, and every, every Muslim that is around the world, I have forgiven them, my Ikhwani. I have nothing against anybody. Wallahi, when you have that feeling, there is no feeling better than that. When you forgive every human being. Wallahi, whatever you do to me, you will always be forgiven. Have that sort of mentality, ikhwani. When you forgive people, you will feel much better. Therefore, my brothers, before you leave the masjid today, you know you have a long list in your mind. You know Muhammad, Ahmad, Ali, Saeed, Umm Fulana, Umm Fulana. They're all in your list. You don't like them. But today, before you leave the masjid, Make that sincere intention and say, Oh Allah, I forgive them all because of you. When you say you forgive someone, life has to be the same as before. When you were friends before the problem happened, life has to go back to that normality. People say today, if you know two people are having problems, when you go to one of them, he will say to you, Wallah, akhi, I have nothing against that person. I have forgiven. But he can never call him. If you say to him, have you got his number? He say, I lost it. Do you want to have his number? No. You didn't forgive him. Do you want to talk to him? No. 
Wallahi like it. But I forgave him, subhanAllah. I have nothing against him. But you can't, for, you can't even call him, yeah? Do you want to go to, can, can you come to, with me to his house? No, not really. No, no, no. You haven't forgiven nobody. When you say today I've forgiven someone, I want you to go to his house. I want you to call him tonight. I want you to go to his house tomorrow. I want you to invite him the next day to his house and say, come to me, my brother. The sisters should do the same thing. That is what I mean, forgiveness. Not from the word, from the mouth and say, I have forgiven everybody. No, 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 no. That is fake, Ikhwani. When you say I forgave someone, forgive that person for good. Forget. Allow that person to come to your house. Allow that person to talk to you. Allow that person to call you. You call them as well. Ikhwani, wallahi, when you pick up the phone today and you call certain people that you never spoke to for years and you call them today and say, Akhi, I called you for one reason. I want to tell you that I have forgiven you in this life and the hereafter. How are you going to feel? How is that person going to feel? Allah has said, Itfa' billati hiya ahsan. فَإِذَا الَّذِي بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَهُ عَدَاوَةً كَأَنَّهُ وَلِيٌّ حَمِيمٌ Subhanallah. When you, when you become good to someone that was bad to you, that person will become what? He will become like a great friend to you. Therefore, my brothers, that is the message I want to leave with you today in this masjid.